So example 5, in this example we need to change both equations and then solve by elimination. So let's imagine that 3 markers plus 2 pens cost 180 cent and 4 markers minus 5 pens cost 10 cent. So how do we solve this one by elimination? There are two ways of doing it at least. Two two easy ways of doing it anyway. Um, and again, you should always try to work on the variable that has the pot is is pot one 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 uh, variable is one term is positive and one term is negative because it it uh, means you don't ha you just have to multiply by positive numbers. So we may we have to multiply both equations by something. We know that much. Okay, we need to multiply across both equations by something, and. So here's the deal, 2 and 5. What's a common multiple of 2 and 5? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, isn't it? 2 times 5 is 10. So that's a common multiple. Do you think it would be possible in any way to turn um, this negative 5 into negative 10p and the positive 2 into positive 10p? Because if you did that, then if you add these, they would make zero, right? So that's the trick. So how do you, what do you multiply negative 5 by so it becomes negative 10? 2, right? And what do you multiply positive 2 by so it becomes positive 10? Well, positive 5, right? So if I multiply the bottom equation by 2, I'll get 8m minus 10p and then 2 times 10 equals 20. If I multiply the top equation by 5 I get 15m plus 10p and then 5 times 180 equals um, 900, right? And now if I add both of these equations together, this one and this one, the top and bottom, if I add them together Forget about the middle equations, ignore the middle ones, ignore the middle ones. 15m plus 8m gives 23m. 10p minus 10p gives 0p. And that's equal to 920. Okay? So divide both sides by 23 and you'll find the value of m. So go ahead and do that, and then find the value of P. So we should have M is 40, and then find P. Just go 3 times 40 plus 2P, 2P equals 180. So 3 times 40 is 120, so 120 plus 2p equals 180, and solve that, subtract 120, and we have 2 pens cost 60 cent, so 1 pen cost 30 cent, right? So we have the value of the marker is 40, and the value of the pen, the pen is 30 cent. Okay, so example 6. You need to do something to both equations and then solve by elimination. And there are two, two ways of doing it. So I probably advise working on the x variables because this is a positive term and this is a negative term. Okay. So what are the multiples of 3 and 4? Common multiple of 3 and 4? Well, do this. What's 3 times 4? Right? 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 and 4 both go into 12. So couldn't you turn this bottom one into negative 12x and turn the top one into 12x? Right? So what do you multiply this by to get this? What do you multiply this equation by to get that, right? Well, 3 times this equation gives the negative 12x plus 9y, and 3 times 17 equals 51. And 4 times this equation gives you 12x 
plus 8y equals 4 times 0. What's 4 times 0? Zero? 0, isn't it? And then add these equations together, right? And you should end up with your answer. 12x minus 12x is 0. And we have 17y equals 0. And 51 is 51. So I divide by 17. And we have y is 3. And now we can find x. We need the value of x also, right? So um, 3x plus 2 times 3 equals 0, put it into the top equation, and 3x equals negative 6, and x is negative 2. So you should have y is 3, x is negative 2, so as an ordered pair, x, y, the answer should be negative 2, 3, okay? But let's do something else. We've, that's the answer, that's correct, but let's solve this a different way. Take a different step, negative 4x plus 3y equals 17. Is there something else we could have done at the beginning? How about eliminate, how would you eliminate these y variables? Can you do that? What's the, what's a common multiple of 2 and 3? What's 2 multiplied by 3? 6, isn't it? But we would need a, you know, a positive 6y, for example, and negative 6y, wouldn't you? Because you have to have positive and negative in order for them to eliminate. So, what do you multiply this by so that this is positive 6y? What do you multiply this by so this is negative 6y? Right? Well, 3 times 2 gives 6y. Negative 2 times 3 gives negative 6y. So, multiply top by 3 and you get 9x plus 6y equals now 3 times 0 is 0. So, multiplying this side by 3 also, right? Negative 2 times negative 4x, 8x. Negative 2 times 3y, negative 6y. And negative 2 times 17. So multiplying that by negative se by 17. And that would be negative um, 34, right? And so now if you add these equations together, it should all work out. 9 and 8 is 17x. Uh, 6y, negative 6y is 0. And then 0 and negative 34 negative 34 and then divide by 17 and you have x is negative 2 and then you'll eventually find y so there's other ways of doing it